Ronald Reagan was the last United States president to place his hand on 2 Chronicles 7.14. It reads, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Actually, he placed his hand on that scripture for his oath of office both times he took it. Betsy mm -hmm. Moeller. Betsy Moeller is our guest today. She heads up the South Dakota Apostolic Prayer Network. And Betsy, you and I have been connected for some time now, and mm -hmm. uh, you've certainly been a blessing to me and many others. Thank you. Uh, when we were talking before this program, our conversation seemed to go to this mm -hmm. scripture. What would you say to the people watching right now? How can they apply the scripture in their personal life? Okay. Well, as we all know in our nation, we're in a very crucial moment in time. And um, God has a plan for all of us to have a part in that. And he really gives it to us in the scripture. This is one of the scriptures. He says, if my people, first of all, building a relationship with Christ Jesus is it. I mean, we become his people, we become the children of God when we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And so that's the first point of it is, if my people. And that's, that's foundational. <laughs> yes. You don't get any farther if you don't exactly, do that. Exactly, exactly. So in other words, he says, you know, get a right relationship with me first and then we can proceed on to the rest of the solution actually this scripture and we know there's many many more scriptures god gives us the answer the answer is in his word yes, because he is the answer and we know jesus christ is the living answer the word of god and so all god is really waiting for us is to align with his answer because he has it and you know we can look to government and we can look to all man's good ideas and maybe other solutions but God's the only one with the answer and he's just waiting for us to align with what he says so that that's the first part after you get through if my people where do you go from there what should our viewers today who are perhaps maybe maybe they've just made a commitment to Christ mm -hmm. where do they go from here how do they impact their community, their state, their nation. Okay, well, the next part says, if my people who are called by my name. Um, basically, they, you have a calling. Each person has a calling. Once we've accepted Christ Jesus, we have not only entered the family of God, we have also entered the army of God. And when we are called, we have, that means um, we have a choice to answer the call. We can either say yes or no, and, and the calling takes you in a deeper relationship. You know, the first part, we accept Jesus as our Savior, which is ultimate. I mean, that, that's what we need. But the calling part is that we then now have an active part of saying, yes, God, what's my part in the solution? And the part most people uh, seem to overlook is that we need to humble ourselves yes. and pray. Yes and seek his face yes and turn from our wicked ways yes and then and what then and then the lord god says i will hear your prayer and i will heal your land wow that is so powerful mm -hmm. has there ever been a time in our lifetime when we needed our land to be healed more than we do today yes we definitely do and and this is one of the scriptures i I, I love um, God you know if you do a study of scripture when God's talking about the land there's a lot of them but this one is one of the favorite of mine because it covers it all you know yes, it does. You, you we're as people but we do live in a geographical location we do live in a nation it's a land it's a land issue and um, this covers it and you deal very very specifically with healing of geographic areas, yes. don't you? Yes, we do. Um, and I heard recently a pastor say that uh, poverty is not a blessing, it's a curse. It is. 
And you and the Apostolic Prayer Network mm -hmm. are focused on breaking that curse, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And it begins with this scripture. Yes, it does. And there, there are a few like you who are called to deep intercessory prayer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but many of our listeners are not off the hook, are they? No. You know, we're really all called to be intercessors um, because God wants us to pray. It's basically having communication. It starts there. Well, let me just put it like this. What, what scripture is coming to my mind is, um, well, the Song of Solomon isn't a scripture that probably all of us, especially the first time read, probably felt real comfortable. But I heard explained like this, and it was really precious to me, is that if you read the first half of the Song of Solomon, where it talks about the, the bride and the bridegroom yes. and the relationship with Solomon and the Shulamite woman, but basically what that's talking about there, if you can understand it, is that Jesus is calling his bride. And I put it like this, is that that first half, the Song of Solomon, we find our, our identity in Christ. We find that relationship with Christ. And it's so important to have that intimate relationship. I think sometimes that may be what's missing at large in some of the body of Christ. And I can personally say that because I was in that arena. But it's like when I came to the realization of having that personal, intimate relationship with, I don't know if people feel comfortable with this, kind of that bridegroom God concept. It's like, yes, he's our Heavenly Father which we become the children. But there's that aspect of Jesus Christ where he compares in the scriptures that the church is his bride and he is the bridegroom. And, and he's, he's portraying it that way to show that intimate relationship, that intimate fellowship, the covenant um, relationship that's developed is so deep. And, and once you reach that deep relationship, um, you really won't be moved. Well, and it begins by humbling ourselves. Yes, it does. Seeking his face. Yes. And prayer. Yes. You'll enjoy hearing more from Betsy on another program. Don't go away. <laughs>